back to the next episode of Coach's Corner. Today we're going to put a spin on things, change things up. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the defense, okay? Today on defense we're going to talk about the 3-3 stack and installing the 3-3 stack, okay? First thing about the 3-3 stack we want to talk about is our personnel. And you want to talk about that when you're installing any defense or offense, okay? So we're going to talk about personnel. 3-3 stack is more of a three-down line, three lineman type of deal. With um, You can either go with five linebacker body types or maybe three linebacker body types and five defensive back body types. So it depends on what is in your school or what, what, what you have. All right? So first thing we want to talk about is the 3-3 three, three stack with the five linebacker type. Okay, and that's because of more in the youth levels and in some high school levels, you're going to use more versus the run game. As the game evolves, you still can use those athletic players to help you versus pass, okay, in a the, in the certain concept. So um, the next step after you determine what, what, what kind of players you have and what you want to do, you want to teach these players how to set the strength, okay, and how to set their strength. A lot of guys use the tight end. Some guys use the number of receivers. Some guys use where the running back is. Okay, so today we're going to talk about an alignment versus um, 21 personnel, which is two backs and a tight end, versus 10 personnel, which is one back, no tight end, true spread, 11 personnel, which is one back and one tight end. So we want to do a few different things, and we're going to show a few different ways that you may be able to, to, to use this and then put this into your system, okay? So our base alignment first, okay? And we, like we say, we're going to go against 21 personnel. So we got a full back. We got a quarterback, tight end, we're working, all right? Our base alignment versus this 3-3 three, three, versus this and our 3-5-3, three, three. okay, we're going to have a strong side line, all right? We're going to have a nose guard. We're going to play with a weak side defensive end also. These guys will be head up players. Some guys like to put this guy over in the five technique versus the tight end, but for the sake of this diagram, we're going to work it this way, okay? We like to have a strong side backer, which we'll play in a one-by-one -one technique over here, and a power technique versus the tight end force and being a force player outside. All right, that's his responsibility. We'll have an inside stack backer that'll play here. He is an inside backer. He's attached to the box. You can move, but he's attached to the box. You want to have your mic, your mic backer, your middle backer, and you'll have a weak side inside backer. All right? Now, this access guy here, your backside guy, which some guys call the safety, we'll call the backer because we're working in a five backer system right now. He's three by three. He's more off of the ball. This is more your speed guy. Okay, he can help you more of a kind of a safety. If it was a safety kind of guy underneath flat type player, that's him. Okay, you can blitz him. You can come in, make some tackles with him. That's him. Um, your true might is this guy. All right, now in this system, we'll play it out of here. You can't, you can't, everybody has a gap. So in this, we sometimes be slant or whatever we do, but everybody has a gap responsibility. So the lineman may slant here. All right, so our backers must realize that we replace each other. It's all gap replacement. It's a gap control defense. All right, guys talk about, you know, what kind of defense do I have? Well, I don't really have a, a set system, but it's a gap control defense. I think you kind of have a gap control in every defense. Because if not, you're going to run the ball all over you. And that's just simple. Okay, so here we want to talk about it. we got to play run first. These guys are run first players. All these guys are run first players. Okay? So... Versus a 21 front, that's what we count how we will play. You know, whatever you do with your corners out here, mostly in this area, you're going to play a cover three concept. You can try to play maybe a cover one concept also, and it'll work for you, okay? Next thing we want to talk about is this versus more a, a, of an 11 personnel, okay? More of a true spread formation. We're going to draw this in the, um, versus that, okay? Spread formation with a tight end. All right, with the tight end. So we get here, and they call this 11 personnel. We got a tight end there. We got a receiver here. We're working two receivers on the back side. All right, a formation like this is especially tough <clears throat> because you have a passing threat and a run threat on the field at the same time. And I, when I say this, you got a tight end with an attached lineman on one side, and you have true spread on the other side. So... In this situation, it gets kind of tricky. So you gotta be you gotta be be smart on how you want to align to these things. So we get in our in our formation, we stay, we play our power tech on deep on the front side. We get our stack backers in here. Now all depending on what your coverage is back here, whatever you call it. If you call it a cover three here, you got this guy here, he's gonna be a fat player sitting here, walling anything, and these guys wall to it. So that can kind of help you on that front side, on your on your run game side. You got the same deal. You know, you may have the safety here. 
no pen where he is, but we know that what? We're playing underneath. We can play a cover three concept here and get these guys working. Wall, wall, wall. China, China, China. You know, we understand. You guys know where we're going here. All right, so. All right, this is how we're going to look. In here, we still get our slants. All right. Now, the key in these type of deals is understanding your option responsibility. Okay, so now we're in this true spread formation. You got to understand your read responsibility. Who has dive? Who has quarterback? All right, we have to determine these things. All right, so normally in this type of thing, we'll take our lineman, they'll take dive. We'll have quarterback here, late quarterback. Now, if there's a bubble here, we got to kind of do a different type of thing with that. Versus speed option, this guy may, may come down and slow play it out here and make the quarterback keep it and kind of keep some things in order. But guys, a lot of guys are going to tell you that Oh, we're taking the bubble. We'll do all this right now. Well, yeah, but we still got to make plays, run and tackle. So that's a part of anything. It's a thousand ways to skin a cat. All right. Now, we'll take this and we're going to go into a true formation, uh, a true balance formation, spread formation. All right. We're going to go to 10 personnel. All right. When we're talking 10 personnel, we know now we're dealing with one running back. No tight ends, all right? So we got a guy there. We got a guy there. We got a guy here, a guy here. We're working in true spread formation. All right, so out of your 353, three, you have a couple things that you can do with this. Um, you can still play your base alignments and keep the thing kind of close and make these guys have to make a move. It depends on what you're doing. You got to make these guys have to make a move. You're going to have to adjust alignments some. A lot of these guys move around. You can do a lot of things. He can be here. So now you're in this formation and... You got this guy here. I've seen guys that get out here and they, they man things up here. They get these guys and they man them up. And it still keeps them a six-man box. You see these guys moving around. You get guys up here. So it's a lot of different things that you can do with this concept. All right? You can also get in this concept and, and, and play different coverages, which we'll cover in some later episodes. Right now, versus the run game, in this 3-3 stack, you got different things here. You still are six on five. They got five blockers. We got six defenders right here in the immediate box. And that helps. That helps. All right? That helps. Six versus the five. So versus this, we should feel pretty good about this. And spread, we should have some different concepts in place where we should know our keys, and we should be able to work bubble slam. We should be able to protect these things. We should be able to do this type of deal out of your 3-3 three, three step. You should be able to stop that. Okay? You should be able to stop little rug routes. We should be able to see what we're doing. You can input zone, you can input man concepts, and we'll talk about these different concepts on our next show. Um, that was the 3-3 three, three stack, guys. That was a simple installation of the 3-5-3. Three, three. We'll come back and we'll talk more about the 3-3 three, three stack, true 3-3 three, three stack with the five defensive backs and the coverage outlets and the different things that we can do out of that. Thank you guys for joining me this week, and we'll see you again.